We are indeed privileged to have as our guest of honor today a man of faith and action. No other Filipino has instilled as much hope in ourselves as our guest of honor. This call to keep our hopes high is eloquently expressed in the words, Kaya ba natin ito? Or in English, can we do it? Kaya ba natin ito is more than a challenge or a battle cry. It is also an affirmation of our capability to change for the better, to demand more of ourselves, and to keep the faith in the nobility of the Filipino soul. Kaya ba natin ito is also a call to work hard and work together to join hands so that everyone will work for and enjoy the fruits of prosperity. As the leader of our country for six years, our guest of honor laid the ground for sustainable economic recovery, set and practiced a high standard of service to the Filipino people, and courageously led the nation into the path of peace and development. Even after his term in office, our guest of honor established the Ramos Peace and Development Foundation that continues to promote and pursue the road path towards peace and in doing so, clear and illumine the path to inclusive development. For his untiring commitment for a better life for all, he has won the respect of many leaders of nations in the world. The hallmark of his faith is precisely his deep commitment to common good, to work for peace and development, and to lead and inspire others to commit the same to the noble goals. As the Church Among the Palms serves its centenary with the theme widening the doors to share God's love, let us now listen to the message from our former President of the Republic of the Philippines, Fidel Valdez. Thank you very much, Dr. Billy Madurina, for your very kind introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, I guarantee you, my sermon will not be as long as his introduction. <laughs> but let us all congratulate one another here today in the Church of the Palm for 100 years of faithful service to God country, our people, and the environment. Huwag po natin kalimutan ang ating bagong panata sa ating republika ay kasama ang magiging makakalikasan. Uh, translation. The environment here in Turkino, Spanos, is okay. <laughs> in that spirit, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends of the Church among the Palm and of the Los Banos, Laguna, and Southern Luzon congregation, may I ask you nice people to just please rise and then shake the hand of the person that you find there. And also across the road. Where 
I grew up in the Cosmopolitan Church there on Taft Avenue. Alam mo yan, ha? Si Pastor Puerto Casalza. Which is part of the UCCP, uh, as you all know. We do more than shake hands with our friends, neighbors, and strangers. We embrace and kiss each other con todo amor. Sige na, this happens only once and we want to do it. But this do not kiss another girl or another boy. Kiss a stranger. We 
also give thanks to our national scientist, Dr. Benito Vergara. Asap po kayo. Dr. Vergara has written the history of the church among the pounds, as well as identified the many others like him and the young pastors we have with us who observe the church as its sturdy pillar. This church is a proven chaplet record of serving our people, the community, the nation, and the world. You have motivated and supported bright young individuals to pursue their students or their studies to become ministers of the gospel. And thus they have been enabled to establish churches in their own right. The church among the Palms has been the home church of five teams of DUP in Los Banos. Uh, if you are not around anymore, I know you just get up from here. You know. <laughs> Five of them, three chancellors of the UP. <laughs> A president of the University of the Philippines. Two private university presidents. Christina, where are you? President Christina Padulina, Centro Escolar University, is the president of my alma mater from high school. Ako po, I graduate right after liberation of the Centro Escolar de Senoritas <laughs> Boys High School. <laughs> and I'm very proud of that. Also, we have had three members of the National Cabinet. Doctors, 
that although we profess faith in the infinite mercy of Almighty God, we cannot just pray our way to progress. Let us remember, we must always perform capably here on God's Mother Earth. We must perform as we pray, and we must pray as we perform. Translation. Nasa Diyos ang awa, nasa tao ang gawa. Translation. The Philippines is okay. Having said that again, dear friends, let me cut short this three-hour sermon <laughs> prepared by Dr. Tiger Patrick. <laughs> anyway, this is in our website, www.churchamongthemalls.losbanyos.tv. PH. You got it? She got it. Okay. And so let me conclude, dear friends. This is my humble prayer for the good Lord's blessing. And may it spread upon all of us with this grace and bounty in the next 100 years. Chairman, Nina and uh, Pastor Elimel. When you celebrate your 200th anniversary of the church among the palms, please invite Mrs. Ramos and I and all of those in the front row because we will still be around. I don't know about you, but you will. So let me say this very humbly. Dear Lord, we see clearly that the trouble in most communities and in government today is that some leaders are in a hurry to harvest without first planting and nurturing. God's law of nature mandates, and I quote, from Ecclesiastes chapters 3, Verses 1 to 8. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. A time to plant and a time to pluck what is planted and go. This you are very familiar with. And in Proverbs chapter 29, verse 19, good Lord, you warn the leaders, and I quote, where there is no vision, the people will perish, unquote. Our current problems of poverty, deprivation, corruption, and injustice arise out of someone's greed, selfishness, and perhaps inordinate ambition. Dear Lord, did you not tell our forebears, and I quote, God will bring you to the land that belonged to your fathers, and you will take possession of it. You will make you more prosperous than your fathers. The Lord your God will circumcise your heart and the hearts of your descendants, so that you may love him with all your heart and with all your soul. From Deuteronomy chapter 30, verses 5 to 6. And the good Lord said, You please love him with all your heart and with all your soul. Got it? Okay, will you now please embrace and face each other? <laughs> This is what this is all about our 100th anniversary. And so on this day, good Lord, may you bless our church among the palms, 
our beloved Philippines. And all Filipinos here and abroad. And beyond that, may we all have a better future and a better world for everyone, not only to enjoy, but also to serve. Yan ang amo sa atin lahat, mga kababayan at mga kasama. Kaya ba natin ito? Translation. Just join the noise. Minsan pa, isigaw natin malakas, sabay-sabay, na kaya-kaya natin ito. At dahil na sa sigaw, Lakas ng ating sigaw. Mayuyuyong, mayuyuyong ito ko 100 year old church na ito. At mamaksak yung bubong na yan. And the good Lord did provide a stronger and better edifice of worship for all of us. But this one is good enough. It will last or rather 100 years. Okay, Miss Apa, you please get up. You can jump if you want for joy. On three. Shout, higher. Okay? 